We're at the Carrier Dome in Syracuse for the New York State Public High School Athletic Association Class C football semifinal between the Sydney Warriors and the Marcus Whitman Wildcats. Sydney got the ball first and got things started with Aaron Zern taking the ball from Kyle Marinas. He gets through a nice hole and picks up 19 yards on the carry. On the next play, Nick Kozak gets it on a sweep and takes it down the far sideline for a 17-yard gain into Wildcat territory. Two plays later, Aaron Zern gets it. He gets through another nice hole, gets a great block by Pat Simons, and cuts it to the outside to pick up 23 yards and get Sydney into the red zone. Now Sydney takes to the air, and Kyle Marinas finds Pat Simons across the middle for a first and goal at the five-yard line. Now Sydney has it at the three, and Aaron Zern gets it, and he breaks one, two, three tackles to put it across the goal line to give Sydney a 6-0 lead after the missed conversion. Marcus Whitman is faced with a fourth and seven. Jason Cotta goes back to pass, and he hits Nathan Cowles for a first down. The Wildcats have a second and nine from the 34. Cowles gets the handoff. He breaks the tackle at the line of scrimmage, picks up some yards, and drags Pat Simons down to the 14-yard line before he's tackled by Parker Umbra. On third and seven from the 11, Cowles gets it, and he gets down inside the seven. The Wildcats bring in Chris Wickham on fourth and three. He completes a pass to Cowles that's close to a first down. After the measurement, it's no good, and Sydney gets the ball back, much to the delight of the Sydney faithful. The Warriors get pinned back deep in their territory, and Aaron Zern punts it away. Cowles bobbles the ball, and Parker Umbra slides safe. Oh, wait, this is a baseball. Parker Umbra gets the loose ball, and Sydney gets it right back. On third and four, Nick Kozak gets the carry and picks up a Sydney first down. Fast forward to third and nine, Cal Marinas takes to the air. He lets it fly, and he completes the pass to Aaron Zern on the far side. Aaron Zern picks up 34 yards on the play. Sydney ball at the eight. Nick Kozak gets it and takes it down to the six. On third and goal from the eight now, Marinas tries to hit Pat Simons in the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now it's fourth and goal, and Marinas is being pressured. He lets it fly, and Pat Simons makes the touchdown reception, and Sydney takes a 12 to nothing lead. They go for two, and Marinas hits Simons in the end zone, and Sydney's up 14 to nothing. Your wish is my command. You just got on hometown sports. Now we move to the second quarter with a first and 10 at the 32. Josh Wells gets seven on this play. Then they mix it up and give it to Cowles. Cowles takes it to the far side and down to the 15. That leads to this one yard touchdown by Josh Wells and the Wildcats get on the scoreboard, it's 14 to seven. Sydney's ball and Aaron Zern takes it on a sweep. He picks up 11 on the play. They keep it moving as Cal Marinas completes a pass to Pat Simons on the far side for another first down. Sydney's still driving. Marinas gives it to Nick Kozak. He gets a good block by Mike Burpo. Ooh, but he's hit hard and he fumbles. Josh Wells recovers for Marcus Whitman. The Sydney defense steps up as Alex McLean makes a nice stop here and they get it back on a punt. Sydney goes to work as Cal Marinas finds Cody Rose over the middle for a 17-yard gain. The tie turns for the Warriors as Marinas lets this pass get away from him. Ryan Bram makes the interception for the Wildcats, and they're hoping to get some more points on the board before halftime. The Wildcats pick up a big chunk of yardage in a hurry as Jason Cotta throws up the home run ball. Adam Herod makes the catch at the 22, and he takes it down to the four-yard line. Marcus Whitman has a fourth and goal from the one with eight seconds left. Nate Cowles takes it in with four seconds left, and we go to the locker room tied at 14. We move to the second half, and the Wildcats are driving. They have a second and two from the 42. Josh Wells gets it and powers through a tackle to pick up the first down. A little later in the drive, Marcus Whitman has a third and 11. Wells gets it on the shotgun, but Jared Mertz hits him, and Jordan Tuttle brings him down for no gain. 
They go for it on fourth down, and Jason Cotta takes to the air. He completes a pass on the far side to Wells. Alex McLean grabs him, and Mike Burpo finishes the job to get the ball back for the Warriors. Sidney's on the move, and Aaron Zern gets it. He makes some moves and picks up 13 on the play. Now the Warriors have a third and three. Zern gets it again. He gets through a good-sized hole, gets a nice block, and jukes his way to a first down and more. Now Sidney's got a third and two at the 30. Mike Burpo gets the handoff. A whole tribe of Warriors takes him to a 14-yard gain and another Sydney first down. Now the Warriors are faced with fourth and two from the eight. However, Aaron Zern takes it on a sweep and gets it down to the five. First and goal, Sydney. Then from the four-yard line, Mike Burpo takes it through the line and into the end zone for a touchdown, and Sydney goes up 22 to 14 after the conversion. Marcus Whitman's trying to tie it up, and they have a fourth and six from the Sydney 40. Jason Cott is in the shotgun. Sydney's pressuring him, and he scrambles. He takes off and goes down the far sideline. He picks up the first down for the Wildcats. On the next play, Josh Wells gets the ball, and he powers his way for another first down at the 21. A couple of plays later, Nate Collins gets it, and he takes it down to the eight for another Wildcat first down. After a penalty, Marcus Whitman's faced with a fourth and goal from the 10. Jason Cotta passes it over the middle, and Nate Collins makes a leaping grab at the goal line, and Marcus Whitman pulls to within two, it's 22 to 20. They go for two, and Cotta takes it in all by himself for the two points, and we're tied at 22. Sydney gets things going behind Nick Kozak. Here he takes it to the outside on a sweep and picks up 16 yards for his trouble. Now Sydney has a fourth and two, and Aaron Zerns back to punt. No wait, it's a fake. Mike Burpo gets through the line and picks up the first down for Sydney to keep the drive going. Sydney stays on the ground, and Zern picks up some good tough yards on this play. There's just under two minutes left in the game, and it's second and eight from the 26. Nick Kozak gets it, he gets a good gain down to the 19 yard line. On third and one, Aaron Zern gets it and picks up seven yards down to the 12. In the very next play, Marinas gives it to Zern again. He takes it into the end zone for a touchdown, and Sydney takes the lead with under a minute to play. It's 28 to 22 after the missed conversion. Marcus Whitman has the ball, and Jason Cotta serves up another one of his home run balls with time winding down. Pat Simons makes the interception on the far side to end the Wildcats' dreams of a championship game. Sydney runs out the clock and wins the game. They'll go on to their first ever state championship game, and their opponent will be defending state champ Dobbs Ferry. Congratulations go out to the Sydney Warriors. Let's hear from the coach and some players. We had a couple turnovers early. I mean, we played hard. I mean, our offense was doing great. I mean, a couple turnovers kind of turned the momentum against us, but I mean, we played for all four quarters today and come back next week. Ow, I, Marcus Whitman, they are very good. They are physical up front, just like we expected. Um, I think our offensive line did a great job of oh, um, opening holes. Um, Aaron and Nikki both ran extremely hard. Um, I don't know, it was, it was just one of those games where you had to dig down and, uh, and find whatever little extra you had just to pull it out. Yeah, they were, I mean, looking at them now, they were just real quick off the ball. They were moving really well. You know, we, it took us a little while to get the hang of it and stopping them, but we got it going towards the end and we really stepped up in the clutch. I think it was hard, you know, I mean, we, we've never been in a battle like that, and it, we just showed our character coming out and battling with them like that. It was definitely, you know, just hard, you know. We got the ball, it was a tie score, we had to drive down. The line opened some big holes, and we were able to get in the end zone. 